I'm Lisa Francesca Nand from the Big Travel Podcast and I'm here bright and early in the morning at my home city of Brighton for the Hertz One Charge Challenge. We're gonna to go to all of my favorite spots in Brighton, which is one of the coolest cities in the UK. And we're gonna do it all on just one charge. Let's go. Hertz, let's go. This EV is just really, really smooth. It's the perfect way to get around. Our first stop is here at the Brighton Beach Box Sauna. All my friends have been absolutely raving about this place. Going into the sauna, plunging into an icy bath afterwards. So for the sake of my art, I'm going to get into this freezing cold bath. Press play on me. Cool. <laughs> my legs are numb. <laughs> an amazing way to start the day, an icy cold bath followed by a hot sauna. But I think it's time we made our next move. We're going to go for a little hike around the chalk cliffs along the coast. Let's go. Okay, so we've come for a little bit of a walk along the Seven Sisters, which is one of my favourite places to be, these beautiful cliffs. Everyone just comes down for a walk along here. This is Salt Dean. It's kind of like a 1920s sort of seaside town right here on the edge of the cliff. The view is just fantastic up here. We're here at the Chalk Cliffs, which is a must visit place when you come here to Brighton. In some places, these cliffs are over 100 feet high. You can cycle here, you can go for a run, you can walk your dog, you can go for a picnic. There's often people rock pooling as well. It's been lovely here by the seaside, but now we're going to take a drive inland to go and see Lewis Castle. We're just driving through the village of Rodmel, which is one of another beautiful little Sussex village, and we're on our way to Lewis Castle, which was built in the 11th century, making it over a thousand years old. Because the castle was such an important part of the way that the Normans ruled, there was a battle on the outskirts of Lewis and eventually you know, flooded through into the town. The nobles defeated the king and that actually led to the formation of the first English parliament. So it's an incredibly right. important mm -hmm. landmark in terms of English democracy. Shall we head up to the top there? So much history, it's amazing. Thank you, Tim. We're having an amazing day so far. Next up, we're gonna to drive to the beautiful village of Stenning and we're gonna warm up with a lovely cream tea. Let's go. We're now here at the Cobblestone Tea House in Stenning to have a lovely cream tea. As if by magic, fantastic. <laughs> There's a bit of an argument in the UK as to whether you say scone or scone. I'm in the scone camp. It's very controversial stuff. Ah, that's so lovely. After a wonderful cream tea, I'm feeling fully recharged and I'm now going to head back to Brighton to explore the North Lanes. Let's go. So these rolling hills you're passing up there, that's Devil's Dyke. And the legend goes that the devil was very angry for some reason with the people of Sussex and cast his hand and created these deep valleys. And now we're going to head back into the city to the present day, one of my favourite parts of town, the North Lanes. We're here now in Brighton in the North Lane and we're going to wander around some of my favourite shops, starting off here at Mad Hatters, which is the place to come if you want a beautiful hat. Oh, it looks great. This I love good. it. Hats have a real impact on people and make them feel good about themselves. This is one of my favourite of the North Lane streets. This is Kensington Gardens. It's always been very quirky and independent and different and it attracts people from all over the place. In the North Lanes you can find anything, even a juggling star. Let's go in and take a look. <laughs> Play over there. Throw, throw, catch. That's right, that's it. Well, I loved that, but I don't think I'm going to have a career in juggling just yet. I am now going to take you, however, to the place with the best views in town. Let's go. Here we are at the top of the i360 and as you can see there's some spectacular views. It's 450 foot in the air. So now that we've seen all that, we're going to head down to our last stop, Rockwater, for some delicious seafood. So here we are finally at Rockwater, one of my favourite restaurants right here next to the sea. It's a wonderful place to relax and enjoy some great seafood. 
nothing better than fresh seafood right here on the seaside of the Sussex coast. We've had an amazing day, this is a beautiful place and I'm just going to sit here, relax a little while, tuck in before I drive my fantastic EV back to Gatwick Airport. Sorry, girl. Thank you so much for joining me today on my Hertz One Charge Challenge. We've been to the sea, we've been to the countryside, and we've just had a brilliant time. <laughs> I hope I've encouraged you to make your own trip to Brighton. I better get the EV back to Gatwick Airport now. Let's go. Woo! Hertz, let's go.